Hello everyone. Welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting our businesses or if we should start a business, especially if we're working a full-time job. And I want to just talk about um, what is your reason why? What is your reason why you want to start a business? And it's so important to keep that in mind because as you run into different uh, scenarios and different difficulties, that will give you the power and the motivation to power through when you focus on your reason why. For me, my reason for starting a business is for my daughter. And I have more time for her and with her um, now that I am not working a full-time job. Um, I work from home, I work from my phone sometimes, I work from my laptop, and I am able to spend more time with my child, and it works for us. And another reason why I wanted to start my own business is because I wanted to be in control of my time. Um, when I was working uh, my full-time job, I actually uh, worked six days a week. I worked six days a week. And I worked uh, between eight and nine, nine hours a day. So I had pretty long days and I went into overtime every week. And it was good money, but it caused me to be very, very, very tired. And I didn't have as much um, time and motivation to do other things because I just threw myself into my job. And that was um, kind of problematic for, for my personal life. And for doing things with my daughter, um, I really, really, really wanted to have that time freedom that I just didn't have while I worked a full-time job. Another issue that I had, um, and, and that's part of my reason why I started my own business, was the financial restraints that I had. Now, I am not saying that I was, you know, uh, broke all day, every day. No, it was nothing like that. It was just the fact that if I didn't work all of that overtime, I was not as free to buy things and do things the way I ordinarily would. So therefore, um, even though I could have just worked 40 hours a week, I you know, ended up working uh, more than that every week uh, just so I can uh, you know, keep my savings account the way I, I liked it to be in so I can spend money on different things um, the way I was accustomed to doing. So the money was okay, but it was very, very, very sh uh, you know, um, straining on me. Uh, you know, it goes back to just those that time freedom. I, I just didn't have it. So um, those are my three reasons for starting my own business. Um, I wanted to spend more time with my child. I wanted to have more time and I wanted to have more money, but I didn't want to work all those hours to get it. And that brings me to another point I wanted to discuss. So many of my friends and family members, when we talk about um, why I started my business and why they're thinking about starting their business, they oftentimes just say that um, their job wasn't paying them what they were worth. And uh, that causes resentment. You know, you're going into work every day, you're giving it 100% and you feel like you're not being paid what you're worth. It makes you not be as motivated um, as you would be if you were making more money. And, um, you know, of course, uh, people always, you know, negotiate for raises and have meetings with their bosses and things like that. But that doesn't always work out the way that you want it to. You know, maybe a one or two dollar increase is not what you're looking for. Um, maybe you just want to make, you know, double what you're making. You, know, you really can't go into uh, a meeting with your boss and ask them to double your pay. I mean, you can, but they'll probably tell you no. That's not usually how it works. So, you know, that's a lot of motivation um, that I see uh, that causes my friends and family to want to have that desire um, to leave their job and um, start a business. And so if that's something that you're going through, I would definitely encourage you to just go ahead and take the leap and just start your business. I mean, you never know how it's going to turn out, especially if you don't try. You got this. You should at least try 
and see how it goes. Um, of course, you know, one of the things that you want to think about is what type of business do you want to start? And of course, I don't have that answer. That is a very personal decision. Um, you deciding what type of business you want to start. Um, I think that you should probably uh, do something that you already do naturally. Just do something that you're already good at, um, that you just haven't really thought about monetizing. Uh, I, I could give you examples. A friend of mine is very, very good at uh, videography. So she is good at um, making videos and putting clips together. She can edit videos and do all types of things that I can't do. And I constantly encourage her to start a business doing that because a lot of people like to um, maybe shorten videos or certain clips of videos that they have. They want to put it together, whether it be for a memorial, whether it be for a wedding, or whether it be just for personal use just to have. And I really think that she would be really successful doing that but um you know she doesn't want to do it so it's just things like that a lot of times people have skills or even a hobby um and it's something that they're really good at but they haven't thought about monetizing it um those are the types of things that you want to look into and maybe uh create a business out of it because the different skills that you have that you're like oh i think everybody knows how to do this that may not necessarily be true. I don't know how to edit videos. So I would gladly pay my friend to edit my videos um, if she did go ahead and, and start that type of business. So, you know, you just want to be creative. Starting a business doesn't always have to be about something that is like overwhelming and something that you've never done before. Although you could start a business doing something that you've never done before, but you may be able to monetize a skill or something that you already do naturally that somebody would pay you to do because they don't know how to do it. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people have trouble getting started because they're very fearful. They're like, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. And, you know, I honestly think that you should just begin. And what I mean by that is just begin where you are. Nothing is going to be perfect. Um, I'm not perfect. And that's part of the reason why I started this channel so I can document my journey. I literally have to uh, stare my fears in the face. I have to stare my insecurities in the face and overcome them. And, and that's what I want to do. I don't want to live my life in fear. So that's why I um, am starting to face my fears. And it's very, very freeing. So if you find yourself being afraid to start your business, you know, um, putting to action this idea that's in your mind, but, but you're too scared to do it uh, just because fear is just paralyzing you, just, just begin. Like you can literally do it. Just begin. And like I spoke about in the last video, um, I think it's a good idea to get a mentor. And a mentor could be anybody that is in business doing what you want to do. So if you know any, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be somebody on TV, it could be somebody on YouTube that you actually have to pay for the mentorship. You know, it may not be free, I, I don't know. But if you know somebody or if you see somebody on TV or YouTube doing exactly what you want to do, reach out to them and see if they can mentor you and show you how they are running their business and how you should go about starting your business because you want to do the same thing. I think that that is the quick path um, to success. Uh, and, and that's pretty much all I have for you all this week. And I just thank you for watching um, my video. I know that I have a few more subscribers. Um, I started promoting my YouTube channel on Facebook uh, to my friends and family. I kind of kept this a secret. I was kind of nervous. I didn't want everybody to know. But now the cat's out the bag. I have a YouTube channel. I am literally documenting my journey as I build my business. Um, I'm documenting my wins. And I am documenting my losses, but there really are no losses because I'm learning. So if I'm learning, I'm not losing. <laughs>
I'm winning because I'm learning and, and I'm, I'm progressing in whatever mistakes or whatever opportunities I wasn't able to capitalize on because I went through the experience, I will capitalize on them later. And I want to remind you that I have the group on Facebook called Just Boss Up. That group is for business owners and for future business owners. We just talk about things that entrepreneurs, business owners talk about. We just kind of chop it up. You are welcome to join. Have a good night.